Today we want to show you an Excel connector where you can make uh, price calculations or product configurations in an Excel sheet which is uh, called from Salesforce from an opportunity for example and uh, then we push the data back after the configuration and uh, create uh, an opportunity and a quote with the related items. For this we have created a new integration and we have also created some interfaces so this interface is handing over the data to our Excel sheet so the location of the Excel sheet is configured in an adapter so this is the location of the Excel sheet the file name and also the sheet name where we hand over the data to the Excel sheet. <clears throat> when we then push over the information back to Salesforce, we upsort the opportunity information and the status of the opportunity. We upsort the opportunity products, we create a contact, then we create a quote and the corresponding quote line items. Currently we have one message, so we have sent data to Excel, I will delete this. And we are using some workflows to, to update the information in Salesforce depending on the information what we are receiving from the Excel sheet. Good, if we are now on our account information and what we do, we create a new opportunity where we do the price configuration. We have qualification and we have the close date end of this month. Good, now we have created the new opportunity and we have created as well a button which is pushing the interface and if we click this button we are using ActiveX elements to open the Excel sheet and here we have for example the account name, the account ID, the opportunity ID, the opportunity name, the close date, uh, the opportunity stage, the owner ID and the owner name. <clears throat> you can also add uh, more information uh, if uh, you name a range for example and here you can name a new range name and based on this name we are updating the cells in Excel. We have also here a configuration sheet and based on the configuration sheet we add a name The last name, maybe the telephone number. We have a contact email address. For the customer. The currency is Euro, you can also choose another currency if you want. Then we have the offer is valid to the 15th of August 2011. And then we can here add some product information, we can change the pricing or whatever. So you can make um, 
a Visual Basic script in this Excel, which is receiving the product data from maybe a product uh, data information sheet with pricing information and so on, to make your um, logic of adding products and so on. And this information, what we have here, we hand over to the data sheet. So the data sheet is a sheet where we transfer the information which we have created or maybe already get um, uh, to Salesforce. So we hand over the owner ID, our opportunity name, opportunity stage. So this stage we, we change. So as soon as we, we get the new configuration, we say, okay, we have created a proposal or price quote on the opportunity, then we have the opportunity ID, the price book information, and so which price book is uh, responsible for the pricing information. We have here the product information, what we have changed. So this is a very simple link in this demo sheet to the configuration what we have made already. And um, we also transfer the currency code, the account ID for updating the account, the first name, the last name, what we added and so on. So this information is uh, just uh, uh, an easy link as well to our configuration sheet. So if we go back to our configuration sheet and say send data to Salesforce, we got the message that our product and price configuration was sent to Salesforce and if we want to open the opportunity as we have already the opportunity open, I say no. And if I refresh this opportunity, we see that we have here a different stage with a different probability. And if we scroll down a little bit, we see that we have here created our line items with the quantity, with the price what we have changed in the Excel sheet. We see as well that we have created a quote with the opportunity name and the date for example. We have the expiration date what we have put in the Excel sheet. We could also add a discount if we want but we didn't do this in our demo. And if we go to the quote We see here that we have created a quote with the expiration date and the quote line item information based on our configuration in the Excel sheet. So what was happening if we go back here and look into the message board, make a refresh of the message board. We see here that in the background we hand over the data to our Excel sheet. So if we want to view this data, we can open this in a new tab. And if we scroll down, we can see the information what we have handed over to our Excel sheet, what we have seen before. If we look here, this is the line where we have got the modification of the opportunity, where we have created the opportunity line item information, the creation of the contact. So if the contact is not there, we create a new contact under this account. If the contact is already there, we do nothing. We created a quote and we created here the quote line item. So if we look in this information as well, And scroll down we see all the information what we had in the first line in our Excel sheet which we handed over to the different interfaces what we have created which uh, are were responsible for the update logic and everything. In the second line we didn't have any information about the opportunity, so if we go back to our Excel sheet and show into the data, we have here the first line. 
where we have more information and the second line we hand over only for example the um, line item information and if we have line item information with a null for example we just skip this information because we don't need it it's not relevant for us so this is a simple demo on how you can make a pricing um, sheet or product configuration sheet in Excel starting from Salesforce configure everything in Salesforce configure your sheet and uh, send it back to Salesforce and do the process of updating the opportunity the quote and so on and uh, to do this you need only maybe uh, one or two days of creating the Excel sheet and everything and that's all so this adapter is part of our advanced edition so if you're interested to get more information just send us an email